That took four minutes, Christ. What? <clears throat> what? Spat is Count Black and Iron Disbelief? Surely this news cannot be true. The heroes still live? <laughs> oh, I'm afraid so, my Count. In fact, they will be here before long. What? Is that true, then? What are we doing twiddling your biscuits here? Count Black, let me go throw a nice welcome party. I'll bring the punch. Ooh, I want to play a party with those party poopers, too. Wait up, Bochunks. Me, 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 me. Well, I'm not one to miss a party. Ooh, but wait one moment, dear Count. Does the name Blue Mirror ring a bell? Where, where did you hear that name, Dimensio? Oh, the mustache man's pixel went on and on. She said, I must stop Blue Mirror. But I suppose there's no reason to pay any mind to the ramblings of a pixel. <laughs> Ciao for now, my Count. Count Black, if, um, if that pixel's who you think it is, there's still time. You can still stop the prophecy from destroying everything. Yeah, because if that's really her, if she's alive, you have to stop all this. You know not what you are saying, Nostalgia. The prophecy can no longer be stopped by Count Black. No one can stop it. Yeah, I I'm on board with what you're saying, but there must be a way. There must. Or Blue Mirror. <laughs> the man known as Blue Mirror died long ago. Now there is only Black. The Dark Prognostic has his choice to fulfill the prophecy. Nothing more. But... Come to Count Black Heroes. If you hope to save these worlds, then come. Black. Black. Blue Mirror, my son. Don't. Even your ancestors cannot handle that dark book. If you open it, there is no telling what might happen. I do not care, father. A world without her is empty. A life without her is empty. Speak, Dark Prognosticus. Teach your dark history. I await your command. Blah! Black. Blue Mirror, what have you done? Silence. The first prophecy beckons. I'll erase every inch of this blasted world. B Blue Mirror, don't do this. Blue Mirror! Blue Mirror is no more. I am Count Black, and no one shall stand in my way. Blah! Black. And it comes full circle. No, Blue Mirror, you mustn't. Darling, how could you? Oh, darling, you. Why? Hey, Tippy, snap out of it, will ya? Oh, that was Luigi talking, huh? What? I thought you'd just gone back to town, but then I saw you lying there, not moving. And then you started chatting loudly. Ugh. Ugh. I have to say, it kind of startled me. Um, I'm alright. I'm sorry for startling you. Lemire, well, is that a person's name you were saying? Were you remembering something from your past, perhaps? No, it's nothing. Nothing at all. So, should we go to Merlin's? We have to tell him that we found the last pure heart. So, we have gathered all the pure hearts and all four of the heroes, it seems. Now we just stomped this Count Black guy and called a day! I fear for the poor people of this world, we must continue to look at the sky and worry. We must act quickly and erase their hearts and, and, and ease their hearts and minds. Blech. I can read. What troubles you, Tippy? The prophecy. Do we really have to destroy Count Black to stop it from happening? Much of the dark prophecy has already come to pass, but stop it we must. It was by Count Black's hand that the cow's heart was summoned, bringing this peril. Ugh. Without him, the prophecy's power will wither, and all worlds can avoid their ends. Yes, I suppose you're right. I guess we always knew that, didn't we? Tippy, what's the matter, huh? My dear, was there something between you and this Count Black? Um, no, nothing. It was nothing. I'm fine, let's go. Very well then. Once again, your first task is to set this pure heart in a heart pillar. Once you've done that, we must head back to the Black Tower and flop side.
Hey guys, Triforce of Doom here, and welcome back to Super Paper Mario, where last time, we had a very tear-jerking uh, scene involving the origins of the White Pure Heart, and this time, we've finally got the full picture for, for Count Black's motives, and are on the way to the final world. We just, need to put, we just need to set it in the last heart pillar. Which, we know where it is. We just need to figure out how to make it show up. Oh, right. I need to be Mario for that. That was weird. Alright. Okay. Final heart pillar. We're finally here. Oh, I see. It shows up when I see. They only show up when they're at when they're actually ready to. Neat. But yeah, with that, the white pure heart goes in the goes in the heart pillar, and we can finally enter world eight. And we have the door. And we have the dimension door that matches the color scheme of the Dark Prognosticus. Let's do this. Wait, no, no, not flip side, not flip side. I just remembered. Well, that was a mood killer. Okay, let's go. <laughs> oh wait, there's an old one. What? What? Oh. Well, that's just rude. So the time has come. Heroes, the last door is at the top of Flopside Tower in the center of town. I'll go ahead and wait there for you. Once you're prepared for the battle that waits beyond that door, come to me. I was not expecting there to be like a pixel wide gap for me to fall into there. That was just mean. But yeah, it's time for the final world. How many times have I said that now, this part alone? I don't know. I tend to get redundant at times. <laughs> Although, most of you know that by now. This is the final door. Eight pure hearts versus the Dark Prognosticus. Castle Black awaits. There was something on the last page of the Light Prognosticus. Only those who have not abandoned hope can trust can turn back the prophecy of doom. They walk forward into the future, no matter how dark and uncertain it may be. <laughs> you have fought all this way because you believe the future could be bright. I can't go through this door with you, but I send you with all the hope in my heart. I know that you can do it. I too believe it in my heart. Thank you, both of you. Leave it to us. Are we gonna group hug? Enough pep talks, Gramps. I'm doing this for me. Tippy. I don't know what it is in your mind, but... If this is too hard for you, please feel free to stay behind. No, I'm going. I've decided. I must do this. Tippy, if your memory returns... Tippy. You've changed much. You've grown so strong. So, be sure to return safely to me. I will, Merlin. Let's go. Let's defeat Count Black. Let's save all these worlds from destruction. And hurry, for the world may not have much time. Oh boy. In that black span of nothing, you will find Castle Black. You may face battles harder than any you've endured thus far. If you feel ready to face this challenge, then please, go forward. And go forward, we shall. Let's do this. Mario, Princess Peach, Bowser, Luigi, be strong. And you too, Tippy. 
After finding every pure heart, the band of heroes set off for Castle Black. The stakes were high as the ominous void grew larger and the end drew near. Could Mario and friends stave off the inevitable and overturn the prophecy? <sighs> Will I ever stop yawning mid-recording? What strange twist of fate awaited Tippy and Count Black? These thoughts plagued the minds of her heroes as the curtain rose on the final act. Chapter 8-1 The Impending Darkness Ladies and gentlemen, welcome officially to Castle Black. So here we are at last, Count Black's castle. So Blumir is here. Er, never mind. We better get going. Let and get going, we shall. As far as final levels go in games, I love this one. Also, the mix of chiptune with ominous uh, works really well for the music. Oh, hey! These guys! Been a good while. Oh, those guys are new. Okay, what were those guys? Yeah, whatever. Anywho, moving on. Oh, Goombas! Okay, which one of you is Gary's friend? You get an extra stomping. Ow. Hitboxes, they fun. Aha. Hmm, perhaps if I go uh, with someone bigger. Ow. Nope, bad idea. Luigi, help. Who put Boomerang, bu Who put boomerang Bros on stairs? That's just mean. Cake mix. Neat. Koopa. I can never get that jump right. I've never been able to pull off that trick properly. Fucker. Die. Oh, Super Jump even deals extra damage on landing. Huh. Neat. Well, let's get going. Cause yeah, go figure. We're in the final world. We're we're gonna have a uh, boss a boss fight every chapter here. Oh, Red Mister Eye. Bye. Boop. I wonder if I can bury that. Oh, hold on. I want to check something. Yeah, that figures. Alright, Luigi, you're up. I love Castle Black's aesthetic. It's just... The, the monochrome style with the void background works so damn well. Hmm. I sense 3D. Or lighting. Lighting works too. Alright, let's see here. What's this way? Oh, these guys again. Ooh, and more soccer Koopas. I know that's not their actual name, that's just kind of what I call them. There we go, he dead. Ooh, 
chest. Let me guess, key? Open the fucking chest. Oh, in case you're wondering, those rumblings are just because, you know, we're dead center in the void, the thing that can destroy dimensions. So, yeah. There's they're basically uh, void quakes. I'm gonna go to switch. Why do I have Dottie equipped? Anywho, back through here. Alright, and we keep going. To the key! Well, the lock. I have the key. I can words! Uh. Oh! The, the dry bones that can throw shit! Cute! Bye. Oh, and red of course, yes, which I want- wh which ones were red ones again? I forget. God, dry bones are pathetic when you can breathe up. Hi, Magic Koopa! We got your catch card so fucking long ago! Enjoy that 24 damage, assholes. You're supposed to be my lieutenants. Oh, I do not know what purples do, and I do not want to know. That one's dead. Cover the other one. Ha. Uh. Hi. Yeah, these guys have always been easy to deal with. And hey, XP's XP. Hmm, beautiful. We're about... 30,000 away. Nice. So we're about halfway through this level. Okay, I know we're getting some... Oh, Fire Bros. On stairs. Oh, fuck. Oh, asshole! Fuck off. Uh, give me the, uh, dried shroom. I was gonna get it out of my inventory. And the cake mix. Hmm. So, two, three, and five is what I need, huh? Oh god, oh god, not again. Got him. Oh shit! Oh, thank God. Two, three, and five? Ah, I see. Bowser? So we want two, two, three, and five. Yeah, this is one of those puzzle elements you just pay attention to once you've played enough games. And I love animation sequences like this. I've, like, that's what, one reason I've always loved Paper Mario. The goddamn aesthetic. Now then. We got a 3D door to use. Let's use it. Marble Dale, what? Okay, who would be saying this one? Is this O-Chunks? It is. Hi, O-Chunks. Slow me down with a slob of mutton. I never would have thought you'd make it here. I'll tell you this, though. You shouldn't have been such a fucking me rumpus. Now I have to hit you with the full force of me chunks. This is a slightly different voice than I normally use. Pfft, that's big talk from the chunk who gets stomped again and again. How dare ya! 
You heard me. You're going down, chunky boy. What? How about proving it then? Right here, you and me, wrestling match of the ages. Bring it, Beardo. I'll take you on alone. I got all the sweet stumping you need right here. Bowser, are you sure about this? <laughs> uh, don't you worry. I've had egg salad sandwiches chunk chunkier than this guy. You just step back and watch how a totally awesome tyrant gets business done. I'm gonna hurtle ya into ya with the force of a massive airy comet, you great big crybaby. Let's do this. Chunk up! Ooh, he grew! But you weren't expecting that, were ya? Where are you flopping your mouth? Where are your flopping mouth now? Eh, eh? It's time for an old fashioned no old bard. Rumble! So, yeah, this is the cool little gimmick with the boss rush for Castle Black. Each character gets their own boss fight. And we are sticking with the good old Barry. Oh fuck, he's, he's, he delayed. Ow. Yeah, I got the... As usual, it's really easy to stunlock this asshole. Just fire breath, and if he goes above you, Barry. And this is why I go for Barry as soon as I possibly can. Herc! How could you be chunkier than I? You're not but a bloomin' turtle! How can I go on living with the shame of it all? Hey, Bowser, let me keep my dignity as my game ends. Finish me quick. Hey, there's no shame in being smacked down by a huge studly boss. Uh, what's that shaking? Oh, fuck! Ugh. Oh, chunks? Ugh. Oh, chunks, you, you saved us? What are you waiting for? Get out of this place! But, why'd you save us? Because you spanked me, eh? You earned the right to pass. Now I'm making sure you do just that. You got more chunks in your head than I thought. Bowser, what are you doing? Hey, Super Super Bros, get the princess into the next room now! But... I said go! But... Alright, Bowser. You get out of here, too. Don't worry about me. I can hold this thing up all day. Hey, you stole me lying. Your hands are quivering like a ladle of me mom's lard gravy. Don't be the tough guy. Go. I am a tough guy. You get out. No, you get out. No, you. Ugh. Uh, Bowser? The, the door, it won't budge. Oh no. Oh dear. We, we don't have time. We must keep going. Are you sure, Princess? I'm not worried about Bowser. He isn't easy to get rid of. Yeah, we know that one for a fact. Oh boy, she's right about that. Bowser survived worse. Alright, let's move on to Count Black. Oh, and there's the other gimmick. After their boss fight, they're out of the party. And that is the end of the chapter. Whew. So with that chapter over with, and us now being down a, fi a fire-breathing turtle, this has been the Triforce of Doom. Peace out. Uh, uh.